Good evening, Mr. Blank. Good evening, Jeeves. Sure is a dark and stormy evening. But this came for you by messenger, sir. What's this? Oh, the letters have been cut out of a magazine. Who said this? You know that you mentioned it, sir. It does not have a return address. Uh, the messenger just asked if this was the blank residence. Oh, my God, it says, tonight I will be killed. <laughs> this is some kind of prank. I don't know, sir. Would you like me to contact the police? No, no, I don't want the police involved in my affairs. However, we will need to make an addition to this evening's guest list. Send this telegram immediately. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, Miss Peacock, so glad you could join us. Hello, Mrs. Your invitation surprised me, but I decided to come anyway. I must have to go through the science place. Yeah. Well, you've always had your own opinion. Uh, chef is serving drinks. Please make yourself at home. Ah, Miss Scarlet. So glad you could join us. Oh, hello, Mr. Yeah. Blank. Why have we let the years go by? Well, it has been ages, hasn't it, Miss Scarlet? Or should I call you Ruby Red? I don't know why you asked me here tonight, but it's not to get anymore. I've had enough of this. You don't try to me. Temper, temper, Miss Scarlet. Professor Blum. Welcome. Apologies for our little disagreements. Well, well, nice to meet you out here. You have been a nice family, John. Shall we? Permission aboard, Mr. Blake? Well, Captain White. So glad you could join us between your grand flights. Well, to be honest, Mr. Blake, there are times I wish I could have thrown you from a plane. <laughs> but you invited me here, so I thought I'd hear you out. Thank you. Uh, Professor Plum and uh, Miss Peacock and Miss Scarlett are already here. Do you know them? No? Well, please make yourself at home. Chef will get you a drink. Hello, Arthur. Uh, thanks for having me. Hello, Green. Looks as if you could use a stiff drink. You got a lot in your saying that, Arthur. You know I don't drink. <laughs> no, Green, please stay. Stay, uh... I'm sure it'll be with your while. Have a soda or something. Why? Let me see how it Big sounds like. Who actually? Well, Colonel Mustard. So glad you could join us. Now that we're all here, please have a seat. I can tell you why I brought you here this evening. Although you may not know one another, you all have one thing in common. I have wronged. Need to go into all the sort of details. However, tonight I intend to make amends. Ha! As if it were that simple. You think after ruining someone's life you can just invite them to dinner and everything will be all right? I say I must agree. A terrible form of you to me. Well, I can see if you could, uh, might be mistrustful or angry or wish to throw me from your airplane. Your <laughs> but hear me out. Tonight, after dinner, I plan to give each one of you one hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Enough to keep you comfortable for the rest of your days. A hundred thousand dollars? That's one hundred minutes. My God, man, that could pay out all my debts. <laughs> they say money can't buy happiness, but I'll tell you. Being a starving artist is overrated. I need to get to there. Now I know I've been a hard man, harder than most, but as I grow older, I have no heirs. And this is a small gesture for me to make amends before I die. Good, Mr. Blake. Forgive me, Mr. Steve. But I certainly hope you'll get the road ahead. Thank you, Colonel. Now I hear the clock struck the clock strike eight. Let me see about dinner. Please enjoy your drinks. Jeeves will call you shortly. This is quite a party. Oh, 
quite unexpected. What do you think, Captain Wise? Is he on the level? Who knows? Mike is capable of just about anything. Well, I can't afford to look this gift horse in the mouth. I'll take his money, even if he is a scoundrel. What did he do to you? I'm an artist, you know. My reputation is my livelihood. Mr. Blake used to buy all my work, but he didn't like my latest collection. And he let all the art didn't know it. I could just kill him. Take a number, Miss Peacock. What I would give for that man's head on a silver platter. Well, I hate him, but I didn't mean it literally. Oh my, is that a remark? Excuse me, I must take a look. What's your grudge against the blank, Mr. Oh, are we all airing our dirty laundry? No thanks, I'll keep mine in the camper. Let's just say I worked for him a few years back. Since then, he has paid me for ruining my I say, Jesus, which way to the loop? Blank ruined me too. Kept buying me drinks and taking me gambling. He knew I had a problem. He's my brother-in-law, for goodness sake. I hate him so much, but the money he's offering can save my family. I can't turn it down. Well, Blank was right. We all hate him. You know, he promised to fund my round-the-world trip. Then he pulled out at the last minute, and all my other funders dropped me like a hot potato. I could never take that flag. I wish I never had to see him again, but if I get that check, I can rebuild my reputation and finally take that flag. I've got to call my wife. See you for the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, Mr. Blank has plans for a new airplane. We would like you to take a look, please. Thank you. Thank you. Think, you think I could have been general enough to work with Blank? He told all he brought his with him that he could protect his crooked dealing. And in an instant, my promotion disappeared from this. Well, at least now I'll be able to retire and stop. What? What? What's going on? There's a letter. Cut out magazine letters. It says Blank is dead. That can't be true. Let me see that. Mr. Blank is dead. One of the guests is the murderer. It was done in a revolver, a rope, a wrench, a knife, a lead pipe, or a candlestick. You have until midnight to unmask the murderer. If you guess right, you will get your share of cash. If not, I will go home richer with none the wiser. Ooh. Well, I guess someone beat me to it. What? Blank dead? One of us the murder? How could that be true? Can we skip here? Well, I say we walk up the scarlet and get out of here. Uh, she just, she just said she did. <laughs> Listen, purple Dijon or whatever your name is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm saying. Many of you say the exact same thing. Look, this isn't just some willy-nilly spur-of-the-moment murder. Look at these letters. Someone planned this very carefully. Oh, you The professor is right. I can't say I cared much for the guy. But if one of you is the murderer, then we have to find out who it is. I say we split up, search for clues, and then meet back here. Yes, but what if we're partnered with the murderer? You heard the letter, it could be any one of you. Then you know who it is. Well, we'll all have to be on our guard. No one can be trusted, except for Jeeves. By my count, there are at least five rooms. The dining room, the library, the kitchen, the study, and the library. The hall is out because we came through there, and the lounge is out as Mr. Blake is in here right now. If I may, madam, the ballroom and the conservatory are under construction, so there's no need to move there. And the revolver is right here. I'm with Scarlet. I think we should search those rooms. I think we partner up by who we're standing with. So Miss Scarlet, Mr. Green, y'all go to the billiard room in the kitchen. Um, 
Professor Long on his peacock. Now go to the library and study. Uh, Colonel Lester and I will go to the dining room. Yes, but what if you're, what are we looking for? Clues. <coughs> the weapons mentioned in the letter. And last but not least, blank. Dead or alive? Let's go. Any dead bodies in the corner pocket, Green? Don't be ridiculous, Miss Scarlet. I wish I hadn't come tonight. I say, here's the rope. It's all tied up, so the rope isn't the murder weapon. Hey, what's this on the floor? It looks like a locket of blank and a person who looks a lot like Professor Plum. Maybe his sister, whose heart blank broke. This could be a clue. Let's go check the kitchen. What do you want? Hello. You must be the cook. Have you seen Mr. Blank lately? First of all, I'm the chef. I've worked years and years in Italian kitchens. I deserve more respect. And yes, I've seen him. He came in asking about dinner. Have, how long was he in here? Ten minutes. Ten minutes too long, mind you. He was asking about my pasta, as if my pasta is not always perfect. Oh, I knew he came because I was working on clean, uh, fixing the sink. Why? Why? No reason. No reason at all. And also, is there any chance one of your knives is missing? It's funny you say that. A knife is missing. I thought Jeeves took it for dinner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Chef! <laughs> blank in here. What do you mean? I mean our dinner. I am starving, I say. It's a crime to invite guests to dinner and say nothing. Let's be serious, Colonel. If there really was a murder, I think our dinner can wait. Hey, look here. Looks like a candlestick, and I don't see any blood on it. Huh. So if there's no blood on it, then the candlestick is probably not the murder weapon, I reckon. Uh, appears not. And what's this? Looks like a bill for gambling debts from the Giacometti Casino. Can I see that? Someone's been rising up. Someone's been. Running. Running. Someone's been running up a sizable tab that's past due. Mm. Could that be Mr. Green? I remember he said he had a problem with gambling. Maybe we should show this to Jeeves and go back to the lounge, see if we can learn something. What more is there to investigate? We need something that could link Mr. Blank to our murderer. Aha, uh -huh, I found something. It's just a book. How is it clue? It's Blank's signed army book. It looks like there's some private letters inside. Here's a letter he wrote to Army Brass about Colonel Mustard. Uh, uh, Blank, uh, Mustard was telling the truth. Blank ruined him to protect his bribery scheme. Look here. It's a pamphlet of Captain White's around the war tour that was canceled. Uh, let's go. We're running out of time. We can check the setting and head back to the others. Good God! Well, I guess we know Blank is dead. And we found a murder weapon. What's this on the desk? It looks like a box of cigarettes with a bloody fingerprint. And look, here's a box with in a box with some newspaper clippings, a photo, and some letter, and some cut out letters from a magazine. It's about a famous jewelry heist that happened a few years ago. The pickle jar heist that never caught the robber named Ruby Red. Let me see that. I heard Blank call one of the guests Ruby Red. I was right. Hello? Hello? What's this? 
time to do passageway. It looks like it leads to the kitchen. We're, let's go. We need to let the others know. in this room left the rooms at some point after Mr. Blake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I have a confession to me. Oh. 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 murderer. Of course not. Actually, I am not Ms. Pico. I'm Detective from Pinkerton. Oh. The name is Polly Peterson. Blake hired me today to come and keep an eye on things. Sadly, I failed to save him. But I do have a line on who committed this murder. Oh, really? How amazing! You tell us! I shall. But first, I need to ask Jeeves a question. Jeeves, are you? Are you the cook of Mr. Blank's smoke? Neither chef nor I smoke. Uh, Mr. Blank did enjoy a pipe, but never a cigarette or a cigar. I see. I'm ready to run my case. But I do live in the star of the Texas gathered in the mansion's garden. Jeeves, can you see if you have any ideas? Members of the public, You've had a chance to see the evidence, to witness the murder, to form your own opinions. Does any of you have a guess as to who may be our murderer? Yes, young man here. Ruby Fred. Interesting. Yes, in the country. Yes. Um, Scarlet. 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 Scarlet, you seem to be, you seem to be poorly like. Yes. Let's do it this way then. Hold on, put your hands. By show of hands. Who thinks? Here. Okay, and here. Hey, Professor Plum. Oh, you seem to be in the clear. Yes? Some? Miss Peacock, who may be lying, yes, and down. has in the past, <laughs> or Miss Scarlet. Okay. Oh. Oh. Anger! These are good guesses, but there's only one murderer. For the train. The murderer is Colonel Mustard. <laughs> Cigarette case he left with the murder thing on his bloody finger. I, I, also, oh, he was the only person who 